the end. Heidi ho! <laughs> Hey guys, Tommy Per here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm really, really sorry this video is like a day late. I was hoping my voice would come back after wrestling at Folsom in San Francisco, but uh, no, uh, it's not back all the way, but it is sounding a lot better. So today I wanted to get this video out as fast as possible because I picked up this wonderful set that I've been waiting for. It is the McFarlane Toys 60s Batman Classic Villains Lair. And this is a good size box. Like I have a large fat head and you can see how big this box is in comparison. You've got the nice bright orange color here, the nice bright blue at the top here, the 60s Batman logo, and on the side here you've got a, a little collage or group photo of the main four Batman villains from the 60s, Catwoman, Penguin, Riddler, and the Joker. And on the back there you have uh, a display photo of what the set should look like. Now I know a lot of people are excited to use this for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line from NECA, the uh, cartoon line. Uh, I think it's going to look great with any figures you use for it if, in the six inch scale. So let's go ahead and open up the set, which I picked up at Target for $30. Uh, they just hit stores, so definitely go and look for them right now. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at everything that it comes with and set it up, shall we? <laughs> All right, first things first, we're gonna take a look at the back wall of this playset, and this is an expansive and very widespread playset, and I think that's amazing. This exceeds my expectations, and I'm so very happy and so very surprised, in, in a very good way, I might say. Um, the center panel is obviously going to be our main focus here. We've got a sticker of the Villains United logo here, which I love the artwork, that's amazing. It has a wood panel motif, which is all molded into the plastic. The left panel is hinged onto the main panel, and it's easy to remove and easy to put back on. You've got a molded fan right there with uh, the fan design being a sticker. And you've got another hinge right here towards the center of this little mini panel, so you can fold it in, fold it out, and kind of change the shape a little bit of the back wall. It's really dynamic. On the right here, you have the brick and grout motif, which is all molded into the plastic. It's amazing. It's really, really good. You also have a molded portrait right there, which you cannot take off the wall. And the actual art part of the portrait is a sticker as well. And it's like little penguins and Antarctica. So that's really cool. In terms of other accessories and furniture, I'm just gonna let you know right now, all of the furniture is hollow. It's made of a very durable plastic. I don't want to repeat myself. So there is that. You can get not one, not two, but three ah, 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 bookshelves, and they all have stickers to make it look like they're full of items, which is really, really cool because in photos and from far away, it does look like these shelves are full of items, and that is so awesome. So let's go ahead and set it up real quick here. You got books, you've got private belongings, and you've got a bunch of penguin crap. <laughs> penguin food, an umbrella, Little stuffed penguins. Let's try and move this a little bit closer. There we go. Beep, bop, boop. Make it look like that. There you go. All right. And you also get a filing cabinet. It's pretty tall, really durable. And I love all the little colored stickers on there as well. So let's go ahead and put that right here. And you get Catwoman's fridge. And put that right over. Ooh, I'm running out of room. Okay, let's put that right there. There we go. And then, of course, no lair is complete without a villain computer or radio or whatever the hell this is supposed to be, a giant 8-track player. I have no idea. It clips right onto the table. So if you want to use the table for something else, you can. And it clips right back in. Presto, change -o. So let's put the computer just like over here to the side, right? There you go. And then of course, no villain's lair would be complete without a villain's table. This comes off really easily if you need to put it in storage or whatnot. Clip it right back on. I do wish it was a soft goods tablecloth, but you can make that yourself. 
And of course you can't have your meeting table without chairs and you get four of these right here and they slip right underneath the tablecloth, which is amazing. But the bad news is, is you can't sit a figure on the chair and have their legs rest under the tablecloth. It's just not going to happen. But oh well, that looks really, really awesome. But of course, we are not done yet because we have an antique cat statue for Catwoman, which we'll put right here. And then we have a cup on a saucer and it's not removable. We'll put that right there. And then of course you have this really, really cool turquoise vase. And what does that do, you might ask? Well, the vase is for Penguin's Umbrella, which did not come with the Penguin figure from this set, which was super weird. So you put that in the vase and it holds it. And voila, you are done. It is a complete set. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. But let's go ahead and see how it scales with other six inch figures because I know that's what you are most interested in. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like when you put a Fortnite figure in there. We got Man Cake. He always has trouble standing, so he's probably going to fall over just to spite me. And then, of course, we've got one of the best villains of all time, Marvel Legends Mystique. Let's see how she looks by the bookcases. Oh, she scales so well. She looks really, really good. I love that. And then, of course, we've got Eartha Kitt as Catwoman from the classic Batman series uh, toy line by McFarlane, which is what this playset is for. And so you have her seated right there by the table. And she looks great. This scales so much better than the McFarlane Toys Batcave that came out earlier this year. And even though the scale was a little off, I still bought it. I don't care. It's still pretty awesome. Overall, I give this set a 10 out of 10 on the perfect 10 scale. It's only $30 at Target. And for $30, bucks, you can't really go wrong with the set. I know there's going to be some people who are pissed off that the furniture is hollow or it seems kind of cheap but what did you expect for 30 bucks you know what todd you could have charged 20 dollars more and give us given us like working drawers and working doors and maybe like a soft goods uh tablecloth and maybe some more accessories and i would have been fine paying that but i'm also fine with just this because for photos and for the other toy lines like Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers or G.I. Joe Classified, this is going to be amazing for displays and photos. So if you see it, pick it up. You will not be disappointed. I absolutely love it. And thank you so much, Todd McFarlane. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you going to pick up one? Are you going to display it? Are you going to use it for photos? Let me know in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. And thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, do you like wrestling? Do you like action figures and dolls? Do you like self-deprecating humor from chubby gay Asian boys with no romantic prospects? Oh my gosh, then you have come to the right place. Hit that bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. And make sure you hit like, subscribe, and leave me some love in the comments. And follow me on my social media platforms. Keep it classy, keep it catty, and I'll see you soon.